welcome to Outdoor Fun episode number 9. My name is Yanni and I'm an early childhood educator at Early On at Luminous Community Services. Thank you for joining us today and I'm so excited to sing some songs with you and to make some crafts about our winter outdoor fun. Let's start by singing a song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me children, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it raining out today? Is it snowing? Is it windy? What's the weather like today? The mittens on my hands, they keep me warm, keep me warm, keep me warm. The mittens on my hands, they keep me warm all winter long. The hat on my head, it keeps me warm, keeps me warm keeps me warm the hat on my head it keeps me warm all winter long the scarf on my neck it keeps me warm keeps me warm keeps me warm the scarf on my neck it keeps me warm all winter long the jacket on my body it keeps me warm keeps me warm keeps me warm the jacket on my body it keeps me warm all winter long hello everyone so our first craft we'll be making today is our snowflake salt painting so the materials that you'll need for this craft is You'll need a thick piece of paper, so you can use either cardstock or you can use water coloring paper. You'll need some white glue. You'll need a glue stick. Or you can use a glue bottle and squeeze the glue out instead of glue in a glue stick. But you want to use wet glue. Something else you'll need is your food coloring. So I will be using blue. You're welcome to use any other colors that you would like to paint your snowflake with. Something else you'll need is an eyedropper or a pipette, anything you can squeeze the watercolor into the pipe with so you can squeeze it onto your snowflake. And you'll need some salt and maybe a tray to keep your paper in when you pour the salt so it doesn't make a mess. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to draw your snowflakes with glue. So you're going to need your glue and your glue stick. And I'm going to be doing two different snowflakes today. So you're going to draw all the arms of the snowflake. Make sure there's enough glue on the snowflake so it's nice and thick. And so the salt will stick in it all. So make a cross where you did your first line. And then let's cross it over again. Make sure that there's enough glue on all of your arms so that your salt will stick. Okay, so that's your first snowflake. Let's make one more. Okay, now that we're finished with gluing our snowflake on the paper, we're going to put the salt onto these glue snowflakes. So I'm going to put my snowflakes into my tray and pour the salt on top. Make sure you cover your whole snowflake with salt and the 
then you can pour the rest out. Wow, look at your snowflakes. So put that to the side and let it dry before you do the next step, which is putting your food coloring on these dried snowflakes. So we'll be back when this is dry. Okay, now that your snowflakes are dried after you poured on the salt onto your glue snowflakes, you can start coloring or painting your snowflakes. So you're going to need your food coloring mixed with water and an eyedropper or a pipette or anything that you can hold your food coloring in. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to go a little bit at a time and let your snowflake soak up all the food coloring. So if you can see, the food coloring is seeping from one side to the other. So I'm squeezing it here, but it's going all the way to the middle. That is so cool. Wow, look at that. So you can do this part slowly so you can see the changing colors of your snowflake. It's a good idea to have a mat or a plastic bag under your paper just in case there's leaking so you don't get the food coloring all over the table. Now that we're finished with this side, let's move on to our second snowflake. So same thing, start on one side and slowly add your food coloring in. Do you see I'm adding it over here but it's going all over. Wow that is so cool. Let's put it in the middle and see what happens. <sighs> wow. So that's what happens when you put the salt on your paper. It soaks up all the food coloring. So the more food coloring you add, the darker the blue will be. So you can add more to make your snowflake darker. And there we go! There is your salt painted snowflakes. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you will try this at home as well. One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes falling on my tongue. One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes falling on my head. One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes falling on my mittens. One little, two little, three little snowflakes. Four little, five little, six little snowflakes. Seven little, eight little, nine little snowflakes. Ten little snowflakes falling on my boots. Thank you everyone for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed our songs that we sung together and our craft about our snowflakes. So I hope you try these crafts at home and please join us for our next outdoor fun video. Thank you everyone. Stay safe. Goodbye children. Goodbye parents. Goodbye everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.